Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons, and today we're going to go over some, or actually a practical solution for looking at PFS or perfect forward secrecy uh, visibility uh, in traffic. And you know, for those who are familiar with perfect forward secrecy, the the point of that is when that traffic is collected and it's uh, you know data at rest on a disk, even if a server certificate is compromised, then um, you know you can't. Uh, you can't uh, recover that data. And so, uh, as David Holmes covered on a light board uh, several months ago on you know, the ultimate passive inspection architecture, well, this is an implementation of uh, what he was theorizing and, and proposing there. So, let's get this set up. So, you have a client and you have your big IP, and then you have some servers. And uh, however many servers are sitting back there. And how the data exists on the wire is you have requests coming in here to the big IP, and this is locked um, and encrypted with uh, uh, perfect forward secrecy. And then on the back side of the big IP to the servers is also PFS encrypted. All right, so in this case, this traffic on the wire um, without those uh, individual session keys between client and server on both sides, you know, you're not gonna be able, and the server's um, certificate and our, our key. Uh, so you got your cert and key. All right, so Without the key and these uh, unique session keys, when that traffic is looked at later, you wouldn't have access to that. So what this solution, and by the way, this solution comes from uh, ExtraHop and uh, my good buddy, Colin Walker, who those of you who've been around the Dev Central community for a while is the Colin Walker who used to be on our team. And, and uh, so uh, good to hear from Colin and, and uh, you know this, this comes from his team. So. And what they've done is they have this extra hop discovery appliance. And what it does is you can copy that key to this appliance. And then with this solution, you take the big IP here. Actually, let me back to my blue. So we've got our device here, and we're terminating SSL here on the big IP, and then we're, so we have a, um, on this external VIP here, we have, let's say, V1 is the client uh, virtual server. So here we have a client SSL profile uh, for that traffic and supporting only the uh, PFS ciphers. And then on, um, also on that virtual, uh, for this backside, we have a server SSL profile. And, and so that manages uh, the uh, data on the wire. And of course we have the pool for whatever those servers are. And inside here, we have visibility to inspect that traffic in the clear. So if we have um, a additional virtual server here, which we'll call V2, then we can copy all or some of this traffic and use a sideband connection that we'll go ahead and say we're gonna set up here and send to extra hop. And we can also create a PFS relationship with extra hop. So notice all the traffic, the actual data going from client to server, and then what we're going to do with the sideband connection, all of it is, um, is encrypted. So we don't have any data on the wire that's not encrypted, including to our, uh, our management devices, um, or our analysis device in this case. And so what we do here is we have an iRule that sits on this virtual server, and 
this I rule is going to take the, while we're unencrypted here, and we're going to take the uh, client side and server side uh, random numbers and the session key. So we're pulling that data out for both of these connections and then we on this sideband connection, we have another I rule over here. So on this side, we have a server SSL profile. And this is to make sure we're using uh, PFS to this extra hop discovery appliance. And then, um, of course, the pool for whatever device or devices you're sending traffic to. And then the I rule here manages the, uh, the protocol um, communication because the sideband connection in and of itself is not a uh, you know it is not protocol uh, aware you have to uh, manage that protocol and so the second I rule uh, handles that and it manages the uh, one connect relationship and I'll, I'll put one connect on there too and so on this PF uh, on this sideband connection and let me go ahead and write that here that sideband connection over to this X-Trap discovery appliance, it does, uh, it uses the one connect so it doesn't have to for every session key that that is, is found. It's not creating new uh, connections. If there's a connection there, it'll go ahead and reuse that so it eliminates the, um, uh, a lot of overhead by managing individual connections for every session key. So this data is recovered for e each client and server and then it is um, uh, combined into a um, into a table key in, in memory in the I rule. And so that stuff, that table key, is then passed on this connection down to extra hop. And so what X, the extra hop does now that it has that uh, the client randoms and the session keys and uh, the private key, now with all of that information, it can rebuild and take the traffic that is either um, uh, port mirrored. So you could have a, uh, an option here is to, uh, one option here would be a port mirror and send traffic over. Uh, that's, you know, option number one. Another option to do that would be just to tap. Um, so you have some kind of a, uh, uh, tap infrastructure that just takes all data on the wire and then feeds that into here and you could do that client side and um, server side and so you have your uh, actually that would come into the the tap and you get you get the drift so you would tap in um, and then send all that traffic so all the, the traffic that it's going to uh, analyze is coming across the tap or port mirror infrastructure and then it's going to use the keys coming across that uh, that sideband connection to then uh, decrypt that traffic and look at it. So again, this is a really slick solution. It's a couple I rules and a couple virtual servers, and you're good to go. And uh, a realization of David Holmes' uh, ultimate passive inspection infrastructure. So I wanted to share it with the community. Again, thanks to Colin Walker and ExtraHop for building such a cool solution for uh, customers who have the uh, the local traffic manager and the extra hop uh, discovery appliance so we'll see you out there community and if you enjoyed this video click subscribe and uh thanks